Hey, what's going on YouTube? <clears throat> I just thought I'd show you my uh, thought I'd show you my home server setup. Um, I see a lot of these on YouTube, so I thought you guys might enjoy it. So I store my servers in here. I really only have one one real server. It's the uh, Dell Power Edge uh, 1850. Well, it's just a new machine that I run Ubuntu server um, off of. <clears throat> uh, this Dell server has a uh, dual core quad core, so that's a total of eight cores um, with 16 gigabytes of RAM installed. And that's just a simple e-machine with I think like a gig of RAM in it. And it's a dual core. Um, on that, I just run a web server on the e-machine. Um, I run about five websites off of it. It usually doesn't hold a load above 0, 0.00. If you're familiar with Linux, you, you would know what that is. Um, so basically, I have all the networking come in through the back there. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Um, it comes up through the back there from a five port switch that I have down there can't really see it's kind of dark you can see the lights glowing though and that five port switch it's 80 degrees in there a five port switch is fed by a cat5 ethernet which runs up right there goes up through there and then through the rafters can't really see it but it goes up through the rafters through there all the way up there and it comes down right here you can see it's the uh, blue one right there these cables all right here just feed up HDMI AV and a power cable all feed up to my projector which is an Epson And there's my screen that I built. Um, got all the parts from Home Depot. So that Ethernet cable runs down here and plugs into the eight port and that gear gigabit switch right there, which then the I have a terabyte um, Western Digital my book. And then that's the uh, cable modem. The cable modem feeds into the wireless router up here. And then another one goes back down to the switch. Um, I have a LAN printer right there that runs on the LAN. Anybody that's on the LAN can print to it. And then I also have an Ubuntu desktop um, machine right there. And then this right here is my personal computer, my PC Windows box um, that I use. It's an Ultrabook. I use it at school and stuff like that. So, from here, from the switch down here, if I come back here, I'll show you. I have a wire that runs back there. You see it? comes from down there, comes up, around, right there, goes up there, through to this side, comes out over there, and comes over here. Now, if any of you ever watched, or you do watch my previous videos, you'll see that I did a review on the Rocket Line, or Rocket Fish Powerline AV. So it comes in and it plugs in right here. Why did I do it all the way over here? Um, it's just because this wire right here used to have a wireless router sitting up here. Um, and it was not getting very good signal from down here. So I just went ahead and put the power line right there. And that way I wouldn't have to rerun that line. And then I took that other power line and ran it upstairs, which I'll show you in a minute. I also have IP phones right here. 
Uh, this is a Polycom um, 501. Press redial, you'll see. Have it set up to call there. Last time. Um, that's a wireless phone. It runs off of a. Uh, what are they called? And it's a VoIP adapter that I bought offline. Plugs into there. And I can call out to. Uh, let's see, 1 800. Welcome to 1-800-Flowers.com So, that, the, the IP phones are running off of an internal server that I have. It's a custom built PC that you can't really see. It's behind this case under the stairs. I tried to split them up so too much heat wouldn't be in here. It's running a Cent OS Linux version um, and it runs Asterisk on it. Which basically, Asterisk connects to my PBX um, provider and it provides so I can call different extensions within my home like I have the polycom there I have uh, the handheld here so I can dial the phone number to that one which is 101 you have to wait for the VoIP adapter I'm not boring you, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can see it's ringing. It only, it only has that delay if you're wondering because of the VoIP adapter. I haven't really set any dial plans in so it waits to make sure that I'm done dialing the numbers that I need to. Um, see if I get all 102, which is that number, that it rings instantly. So that's my VoIP, one of my VoIP phones. So I have wireless router down here, which base, basically serves downstairs in this level. And I have the a media drive set up. So all the devices on my home can use it. That's what this is playing off of is a media, of the media drive, um, media server. It's a DLNA, whatever you want to call it. You can see here. It's a pretty cool little video. So that's off of the share drive, the terabyte share drive downstairs. And if you come up here, this is in my room, my TV, my other Polycom phone. So you can see from here, I can dial 102 also. And it rings. Yep, yep. you can hear it. So that runs off of Ethernet, which is coming from the power line right there. The power line goes down and goes into it. I don't know if you can see it back there. There's a wireless router. Now you can't really see it. But there's a wireless router right down there and that is how I use wireless upstairs because there's a weak signal from downstairs wireless router so I'm going to show you one more thing or tell you one more thing I forgot to tell you whenever I was downstairs is this server right here actually runs a uh, 
a Linux open exchange server. So I use it to, uh, to, act, to have personal email on my own domain within my home. And um, this one up here also runs DNS for the house. So it can, I can resolve uh, different host names of the PCs within my home. And it also runs runs DHCP. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. If you've ever have never heard of Zimbra, um, let's see. Look that up. It's a Zimbra.com, I believe. It's an open uh, source exchange server. It's got, uh, let's see, it's got the webmail, obviously. You can connect in to use, uh, if you come up here, you can see that it has, you can connect in POP3 and IMAP folders. Come now. Takes a second to come up. This is running on a basic Linux, or not Linux, it's running, it's on Ubuntu 12.04, uh, but it's running on a basic E machine. So you can see right there that my email comes in. That's what it looks like on Thunderbird. Um, Connects in you. You can use your iPhone to connect in on it. Um, you can see right there all my mail. It's on my server that's running over there. Um, so if any, anybody ever has any questions about how that works or they want assistance or, or anything like that, I have a little a little bit of experience with that also. So if you have any questions or comments or any ideas how I can improve this without really spending too much money or effort. No. Um, recently bought a wire crimping. I did it in the Marine Corps for four years. I know how to do it. I just never wanted to spend the money on it. So I have my own crimping so I can make my own Cat5 cable. I've got a thousand feet of it now. I know you probably noticed up there that those were just two lines put together using connectors at the store, but that was before I had the tools to actually make my own lines. Eventually I'll probably go in and reroute, reroute all that stuff, make it look a lot cleaner. So. Well, thanks for watching.